Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing this morning? Hi. Hello. Hello, New Jersey. So just so you guys know, every morning I have Facebook Live going and Instagram Live going because there are some people who gave up Facebook for Lent and so they've been watching. Hi, Tommy up. They've been watching Coffee Talk every day on Instagram and so I keep that. Hi, Kelsey. I keep that going um, for them on Instagram. Obviously, Facebook Live is the primary audience for Coffee Talk, but there are people who watch on Instagram. So a lot of times I read comments from both and people get confused. They're like, I don't see that comment. Well, because it's probably on the other uh, app. Um, but usually we have about a thousand people watching live on Facebook and about a hundred people watching on Instagram because it's a totally different audience. But um, so anyway, I um, typically uh, don't, oh my God. So Ashley, so, okay, couple of things. So today is like Monday. I don't, I think, I don't even know like what day, but I didn't color my hair yet because the color didn't come. I'm just keep doing my hair in different styles to try to avoid the grays. Um, hi, Cap. So, oh, today is 420. All right, well, you pot smoking smokers. Um, talk about a change of tide. Used to be that going into a store to get weed was the scary thing. Now you can walk into any store and get weed, but you got to meet your hairdresser for color in like a back alley and hope the cops don't catch you. Talk about a switcheroonie. Um... So, uh, anyway, um, I'm totally like, choo -choo. okay, so, um, I typically don't, hey, Jen, I typically don't, like, get political or anything, um, because, that's not what Coffee Talk is about, but I will say that I think it's disgusting that corporations like Ruth Chris and juniors and pot bellies took millions of dollars from the PPP program that were supposed to go to small business. If Ruth Chris is a small business, I'm fucking Aunt Jemima, okay? And Shake Shack is giving back $10 million because they're like, guys, we're not a small business. We shouldn't have taken this money. Um, all the other companies that took millions of dollars from small businesses should give the money back too. Because let me tell you something, Ruth, Chris, listen to your friend, Jamie. Okay. You're not a small business. That money doesn't belong to you. It's millions of dollars that could go to pe people, Americans who really need it. And we're paying attention. And if you don't give the fucking money back, Watch how few normal people, regular small business people eat at, uh, eat at um, Ruth Chris. And just a little reminder for you there, Ruthie, the top 1% doesn't eat chain steaks. So if you think the top 1% is going to keep you in business, they don't go out to eat chain steaks, okay? It's the middleman that goes out for chain steaks stakes. So, uh, it's not really political, but it is gross that big corporations were taking small business loan money to bail themselves. Like, stop it. Absolutely stop it. Um, anyway, I don't like that at all. And I can tell you right now that if I will go to Shake Shack. I don't even eat burgers, but I will take my kids. I will never eat at another company that took that PPP money from people who needed it, who really needed it. Millions of dollars. There's like over $50 million, probably way more. I don't, just that I know of from companies like Potbellies and Juniors and Ruth Chris that I know so many American people right now who applied for PPP and didn't get it because the money was gone, 
The money was gone because you gave it to the wrong people and shame on whoever was giving out the money. Why would you even approve it for those people? And don't say they're paying their employees. Fuck that. Bull donkey shit. Okay? Donkey shit. What kind of oversight is that? And this isn't political. It's just literally two plus two is four. The money was for small business. If Ruth Chris is a small business, what the hell is the mom and pop pharmacy down the road or the coffee shop that's struggling or the, uh, the furniture upholstery that's been in business in, in, in a family for 70 years? Come on. This country was built on the backs of small business. I'm all for big corporation. I love a Starbucks, but if Starbucks took fucking 10, $20 million from PPP, I'd be like, oh no, Starbucks, you're out of here. Nope, it is not for you. It is not for you. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, we can move on. So, um, I just had to get that out because I was very angry. I have so many friends that applied for PPP and they're so, they got rejected or there was no money left and they're so nervous about what they're gonna do with their life. And it's just, it terrifies me. Anyway, so, okay. So, um, how, raise your hand if you have had a call in the last six weeks from somebody who was sad. Raise your hand if you have gotten a call. No, Star Coffee Talk is not promoted by Starbucks. No, absolutely not. I just drink it. Okay. Oh, lots of hands being raised. Raise your hand if you've gotten a call in the last six weeks from somebody who was sad. Sad about anything. Just sad. Okay. Lots of hands raised. Okay. So I have learned while I have been in this uh, quarantine that, yes, skadoots. Don't ask me for anything right now. Baby, come on. I got a hard enough time concentrating. No, because you interrupt. You are into some, if you were a dinosaur, you'd be interruptosaurus rex. I know what you want and I told you what you needed to do. You see, Charlie, you want to take the shortcut. Hey, what? no, ma'am, ma'am, I'm talking to you. You want to take the shortcut. Do you know how hard I've worked for this? Five years I've put into this. You don't get to just piggyback on that without doing the work. If you want people to enjoy your YouTube channel, you need to make a video. I did. One that can be shared with them so they can understand what kind of content you're gonna do. You're not just gonna come around and ride the camel back of Coffee Talk. That's not fair. I've done all the work. You have to do the work. But you can't just interrupt me and feel some type of way when you don't get what you want and then storm out away from me and be disrespectful. That's not how that's going to go. Well, I didn't ask you that. I was asking if I could get a strawberry. Oh, sis, you digging deep in the lie box now. You know that's not what you were going to ask me. I could respect you if you tell me the truth. That was the truth. Okay. Are your hands clean? No. Okay, well, if you wash your hands with soap and water, you can get a strawberry. Okay, <clears throat> so what I was going to say was when I get calls from people who are sad, I automatically think that they want my advice because I'm egotistical and I assume if they're calling me and they're sad, they must need my advice. They must want me to fix it, right? And a lot of times I have found in the last couple of weeks that as I try to give people advice, they're kind of backing out of the conversation, okay? And I try to chase them. Wait, but wait, I'm not done telling you. Wait, but wait, I'm not done telling you. And what I realize is they didn't 
actually want me to fix it. They wanted to be distracted from their problem. And I think that's a very big discernment for us as friends right now. To stop when someone calls and they are sad and say, do you want to be distracted by what's going on? Or do you want advice? Do you want me to try to fix it? Do you want me to help you try to deal with it, fix it, solve it, whatever? Or do you just need a distraction? Do you just want to laugh, talk? You want me to tell you funny stories? Like, what do you, what do you need from me right now? Because right now we're all in like this weird mode, right? Sometimes people really do need to be helped. And they really do want to be helped. Sometimes they just need a joke. They just need a cocktail. They just need a sex story. They just need a whatever, right? Or they just need to be heard. I have coffee talk. I have an outlet. So I'm heard every day. I I mean, I feel very lucky, very fortunate. So when people call me now and I realized wait, I'm trying to fix it and she's running away from the conversation. She doesn't really want me to fix it right now. She's not ready for change, right? Um, She wants a joke like, what kind of bees produce milk? Boobies. My friend told me that joke. And... It is in our nature to fix. We want to fix. Most of us are fixers, especially as women. But I think it's okay to say, hey, I'm so glad you called. I miss you too. Just out of curiosity, I'm here for either. Are you looking for somebody to help you solve this or fix this? Or do you just need a distraction? Do you just want girl talk? Do you want me to tell you funny stories about how I was peeing in a onesie and Charlie opened the door and said, why are you peeing naked? And I said, I'm not. It's because I was in a onesie. And she goes, why are you 43 in a onesie? Totally different conversation, Charlie. Right? And I think if we can use that discernment, we'll be a lot more helpful to people in the scheme of the carona. Carona. Okay, tomorrow morning, I want to tell you, I have a very special coffee talk tomorrow morning. I'm going to do an Instagram live. I will also show it on Facebook, but if you're not, um, if you're not on in- following me on Instagram, I have a very special coffee talk tomorrow morning. You can follow me at Instagram at Jamie P. Sullivan. You have to spell Jamie right, J-A-I-M-E, at Jamie P. Sullivan. My friend Mary, my best friend Mary from Los Angeles, who I stay with when I go, um, got COVID. And she's on like day 39,557, and she is still not cleared. She has still not been cleared. She is still only 85%. But anyway, she and I are going to have a conversation about her her early symptoms, where she thinks she got it, what the experience was like. So if you're right now, if you've had enough of COVID, maybe tomorrow morning's coffee talk is not for you. But if you're interested in what somebody who's our age with no pre-existing conditions, somebody who got it at work, um... Um, if you just want to hear what the whole thing is like, the testing, the hospital, the quarantining when you have it, and all of those things, uh, then you don't want to miss tomorrow, uh, tomorrow's coffee talk. So if you want, you can go on Instagram at Jamie P. Sullivan um, and watch it live, but also I'll show it on, on Facebook if I can sort of figure out how to do it and stuff. Uh, Um, she's in Los Angeles. She's in Los Angeles in downtown LA. Um, so anyway, uh, good morning. Uh, oh, B, you have it, B? 
Oh, B, I didn't know that. Um, anyway, so uh, we'll do it tomorrow morning at, um, uh, that's a good question. I think she has to do it at seven, so that's nine my time. So nine o'clock central, seven Pacific, and 10 o'clock Eastern. Jesus, too many time zones. Nine central, nine central. Okay, um, 7 a.m. California time. 7 a.m. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your face. Um, she's got, she has to be up anyway because she's working from home now, so she has to be up anyway. Um, I can put my, somebody can put my Insta handle down there, at Jamie P. Sullivan. Um, anyway. I love you all very much, very much. Remember, when somebody calls you and they are sad, try approaching the conversation with, hey, I'm here for whatever you need. Do you need, are you gonna try, do you want me to help you try to figure this out and fix it or do you just need a distraction? Cause I gotcha, da 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 da. I am your singing telegram. If you know that movie, you are my people. Um, I love you guys very much, very much. Ha this is not Mary from New Jersey. No, Mary from Los Angeles. The one I stay with when I go out in LA. Um, also guys, um, this page is really not political. It really isn't. It should not feel political for the average American to say that they don't think it's fair that large companies are taking money from small business. That should not be a political thing. That should just be like normal. Like if it was loans for large corporations, if it was bailouts, right? The bajillions of dollars that are gonna go to the airlines, I, I wouldn't say anything. Maybe I would say it in my own personal private Idaho, but I wouldn't say it on Coffee Talk. But I have an issue with large corporations taking millions of dollars from small money that was allocated for small business, small law firms that have to play, pay clerks, small newspapers, coffee shops, car, car fix it people, whatever they're called, electricians and mechanics and the people that make up this fucking country, the real small businesses. So if you respond to that with Biden 2020 or Trump 2020 or whatever, I'm just going to block you because that's not what this is about. It's about if I say this food, this, these are my leftovers and you eat my leftovers, I'm going to think you're an asshole. If I say this money is carved out for small business in this country, small business, and you think it's okay for giant corporations and chains like Potbellies and Ruth Chris to take $20 million away from the Americans who are living paycheck to paycheck. I have an issue with that. It is disgusting. The oversight committee or whoever approved that should be ashamed of themselves. How do you even feel good about that? And I don't care who the administration is. That's not what the money was intended for. If it was just bailout money going to the first people who, who, who uh, applied, fine. They got in first. It is what it is. But the money was allocated for small business. That's it. Right, Cap. It's about doing the right thing. That's it. That's it. Shake Shack is returning the $10 million because guess what? Shake Shack is like, damn, there are mom and pop burger joints that are, that are dying right now. There are people that are going to go out of business permanently. So congratulations to Shake Shack for doing the right thing. Give the money back. It was never yours to begin with and you had no right to apply for it. Shame on you. So you're doing the right thing and you're giving it back but it wasn't yours to begin with. It's like someone else showing up to your father's will reading, going, hey, I knew him. 
What's for me? Nothing, asshole. Get out of here. It's not for you. And, I, and Michael and I do well and we work really hard, but it can't always be that the rich get richer. It just can't. If it's allocated for small business, I am tired of seeing people that I love tread water in this country. They are drowning. Their lungs are filling with water. And fucking Ruth Chris has the nerve to take millions of dollars that could have kept them afloat, these small businesses afloat for another two or three months? No, absolutely not. And, and the, the oversight committee or whoever it is should have said, hey, Ruth Chris, we know you guys are struggling. So is Papa Do's, so is Ruby Tuesday's, so is Pop, you know, so are all of these people. But right now, this month, we see you, Ruth Chris, we see you, but this money is allocated for the small uh, family owned steakhouse that employs 60 people from their community. We can't give you millions of dollars right now, Ruth Chris. We know you employ a lot of people, but that's not what this money is for. I'm not saying that those employees don't deserve help. I'm not saying that Ruth Chris doesn't deserve help. I'm saying that's not what this money was allocated for. It's really very simple. But they have employees too, bitch. That's not what the money was for. But they employed me. That's not what the money was for. Oh, so you just want those people to go hungry? Is that what I said? Or did I say that's not what this money, this money, this small business money, this fucking money, this small lane of PPP small business money was not allocated for large fucking chain restaurants. Yes, I worry about those employees. Yes, I think they need help. But that's not what this money was allocated for. So unless you want it to all get murky and nasty and fucked up, you have to say, this money was allocated for small business right now, Ruth Chris. Large companies can take out loans. They can still get bailouts and all of those things. But right now, you need to sit back there and wait for us to give this money to small business. Encourage your employees to file for unemployment or the $600 a week CARES Act. That's what they need to do until we can get to you. Because right now, we need to keep 98% of this country afloat. And that's what we intend to do with this money. This money. But the, no, no, no buts. This money, but we, no, 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 no. Shh, you're not listening. Shh, 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 shut the fuck up. This money is for small business, small, right? If I made condoms for men with really small penis, men with big penises wouldn't run out to buy them. I bet you, hey, these condoms are for men with five inches or less just five inches of penis or less. No big penis men are gonna run out to buy those teeny tiny condoms because they'll wait for the magnums to come around. So just sit your turn and wait for the right size condom, okay? Right now we're dealing with the five inches or less, okay? Okay, thank you. Sorry I have to talk in penis length because that's the only thing fucking thing that these men at the top of this shit understand. Now, I'm not irrational. I'm not crazy or angry at all. I just think that small businesses in this country matter. They matter they are beautiful, they are awesome, and when something is passed down from family member to family member, it matters, it is the fabric of this country. I love my country, I'm mostly sometimes sort of kind of proud of my country, but right now I need the big dicks 
Yeah, the like eight inchers. I need you guys to sit the fuck down. You're on deck. Don't worry. We're going to call you back, eight inchers. Don't worry. We all love a fucking eight incher. But right now, we got to save the five inchers because they're struggling. Nobody wants a five incher right now. So we got to let them know. All eyes on you, small dicks. All eyes on you. Okay? Okay. Sometimes I really make a good video and then I go off on a tangent about penises and nobody wants to share it. I'm sorry. Um, oh my God, I'm so sorry, Sarah. Sometimes I forget you guys watch Coffee Talk with your children in the room. But, um, but I, then I started to, I did say penis, but then I switched to the bad word. I apologize. Shout out to... Uh, uh, shout out to everybody who owns a small business right now. I know you're struggling and I want you to know that I hate that. I hate it. I love small businesses. Despite my love for Starbucks, I'm sorry. It's my one vice. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs anymore. I, I, I really just love, what up Kansas? I really just love Starbucks. I'm sorry, but I want you to know that I use small business for almost everything else in my life. Um, Paul Salter in Birmingham did my kitchen cabinets. He's doing my closet. I am, I, have, I am still without cabinet drawers in my closet because I believe in small business and they're trying to do it the right way and COVID has messed them up. I could have used some big chain installation place like Home Depot or whatever. No, no, no slight against Home Depot. I, you know, I appreciate a Home Depot, but I'm just saying like, I love small business. When my car is broken, I find a small business mechanic. When I need an electrician, I call small business. When my dryer, it needs to be cleaned out and the vent is backing up into my house and pretty, I'm pretty sure it was going to cause a house fire. I call a small business. I love small business. I am truly the walk it like I talk it. Walk it like I talk it. A, hey, walk it like I talk it. Walk it like I talk it. That's me when it comes to small business. I love small business. It matters to me. So I get infuriated when people, is Whole Foods a small business? No, they're owned by Amazon. Absolutely not. They are not a small business. Neither is Publix. They are not small business. But we don't have mom and pop groceries. But I'll tell you what I have done since people want to try to put, call me to carpet. You can fucking call me to carpet any day of the week. Check me. And I'm not saying you were trying to check me, but check me. First of all, I love coffee talk. So when you check me, you keep me in line. You're only making me better. So call me to the carpet. Call me to the carpet. I don't care. I'm not scared. Call me to the carpet. You make me better when you check me. It doesn't scare me. So I want to tell you a small change I made in my shopping. I put out online, does anybody know a farmer's market or a fruit and vegetable person or whatever that is selling packages of fruits and vegetables that I can buy order once a week? Produce. And I got one. And today, between three and six, I'm, pe I'm picking up my prepaid fruit package. So I, you drive up and they stick it in the back of your car. Pr a produce package that will keep a small business afloat. So I'm doing it. I walk it like I talk it. Trust me when I tell you, but you all make me better when you check me. I don't. It does not scare me when you go, oh, but Jamie Starbucks. Oh, no, 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 Nicole, I know. I'm just saying. It doesn't scare me when you go, oh, but Jamie, oh, but Jamie. Check me. Check me because you only make me better. You bring things to my awareness like, oh, they're right. I say this, but then I do this. I want to be better. Make me better. Check me. Check me. But I walk it like I talk it. You could call me offset. 
Walk it like I talk it. A hey, walk it like I talk it. I love small business. Love it. I changed my pharmacy from Publix Pharmacy on Overton Road to the small pharmacy in Cahaba Heights because they need my business more than Publix does. I order Mexican food from our little corner place. I go to dinner with Michael every Thursday night when we're not on quarantine at Gianmarco's family owned business small. I love it. Love it. Anyway. Um, Lisa Yarborough, call Sugar in Crestline. Go on their website. She is selling produce packs. I, they might all be gone for this week, but you can check it. Anyway, um, I love you guys very much. I love you. Yeah, you can also shop franchise stores, of course. But if you're doing your part to su support small business, that's a really good thing. I hear babies. Hi, guys. Yes, my love. You know what? You know what's weird? Yes, what is it, honey? Charlie's starting to get abs. She's the first line down the middle of her stomach. Charlie, she's, that kid is ripped. All right, I love you guys very much. I feel like they're grown. We Your just abs? We just you, ripped. Ripped. you are ripped. Not a witch. Your outfit's really cute. No, All right, let me go because now my kids want to have an ab off. So we're about to have an ab off because I got abs. Walk it like I took it. What are you doing? <laughs> we just had to do three We're about seconds. to, oh, whoever has a small balance, a small business. Ooh, we're going to do a small business shout out. Wait, Mom, can you do a After this, you later. No, not right now. Y'all didn't do the work. Listen, later I'm going to post something for small business. I have a small business. State of Style Jewelry is a small business. And it employs like four people, but still it's small. I'm going to do a small business shout out later where you put your town where you're from and you tag your small business. And we're going to talk it like I talk it. Hey, walk it like I talk it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I love the you. Only reason that uh, well, you had a TV show. That's how you got famous. A TV show. I know you did not come over here to check me. I, I know, I know. Oh no, yeah, yeah. What's a shout? What's a small business shout out? A small business shout out. Right now, in this country, we're we're celebrating small business. Like so, you know how like. Um, Snoozies and Crestline is a small yeah. toy store versus like Toys R Us or Snoozies. like. Or like um, Learning Express. No, Target is not a small business, boo. I know. It's Learning Express compared right. to Target. Right. Exactly. Compared to Target. So right now we have to help the small businesses in the country because they are the backbone of this country. You mean like the backbone? Yes. So the other ones are the front bone? Um, all right. I got to go. I love you guys. Have a great, great day. Bless you. Oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. Oh.